Hello, welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to do a data analysis using Python. We will use pandas, numpy, and matplotlib libraries for analyzing our data. I took this dataset from Kaggle and I'm going to pin the dataset link so you can download it for doing the data analysis on your own or for coding with me. That was all for the introduction. Now we can move to the coding part. Welcome to the coding part. Let's start with importing pandas. Now we are going to turn our Excel file into pandas data frame by using read CSV and we will assign it to data. Let's see how our data looks like. We will use head method for this. We have the age, sex, BMI, children, smoker, region, and child's columns. Age, sex, BMI, children, and child's columns are numeric, and smoker and region columns are non-numeric. We will also do encoding, and we will transform them into numeric values. Let's get the row and column count. We will use shape method for this. We have 1338 rows and 7 columns. As we can see shape returns a tuple which means we can reach the first index of it. Let's get this information in a better looking print statement. Now we can see the information clearly. Let's get the general features of our dataset by info method. We can see the data types that columns contain, memory usage and add of information from there. Ok, let's see if we have any null values. I will use SNA and sum for this task. Seems like we don't have any. Let's get the numerical summaries of our dataset also by describe method. Describe only creates summaries for the numerical columns. Ok, let's check for the duplicated entries. I will use duplicated and sum. We have a duplicated entry, let's remove it. Since we only have one, it is not actually necessary, but I am going to delete it for showing the necessary code for the duplicate cleaning. By in place equals to true, we also set it our cleaned version. Let's check the duplicates again for seeing if it is cleaned. Ok, we don't have any more duplicates, let's keep with importing the necessary libraries for making our data visual. We imported matplotlib and seaborn. Ok, let's get the value counts of sex column. After that, we are going to make that information visual. Let's make this information visual. Seems good. Let's see smoker, non smoker ratio visually. Seems 
Seems like most of the entries we have are non-smoker. Let's get the region information. All values are close. Now let's turn the categorical columns to numeric ones. I'm going to import preprocessing from sklearn for this task. And we are going to set it. Before the encoding operation, let's see our data one more time. After that, we are going to see the changed version. Now let's apply the code for encoding. We will use fit and transform together. Let's see how our data looks like now. It seems like all the categorical columns are numeric right now. Let's get the correlation coefficient values of our columns. Remember that if the correlation between two columns are closer to one, it means positive strong relationship. And if it's closer to minus one, it means negative strong relationship. Also zero means they are not related. I will not take all correlations at the first step. I will only get the information of how other columns are related with the child's column. Let's see the information. We can see that smoking and age increases charges. Let's create a heat map using Seaborn. Seems nice. Now we can see how all columns are correlated with each other. Now what I will do is, I'm going to create a for loop which is going to iterate over the columns and will create a distribution plot for each of them. Also I will set the titles with that column's name. Let's see the code and distribution plots. Seems nice. I think only BMI values have a normal distribution. Now I'm going to do a similar thing, but this time I will both change all the colors of the plots and also I will generate scatter plots. We will start by setting the colors for X in a list type and we will create an index as color changer. Then we will create a for loop, but this time we won't iterate over all columns we will add minus one for not taking the child's column. That's going to be constant and our y-axis in all columns. Then we will generate a scatter plot using Seaborn and going to set x as index, y as child's, colors as colors for x list. Also we will add one to color changers every time for changing the index of the list. Let's see the code.
seems like just we want it. Thanks for watching the video. Next video is going to be the machine learning part of this dataset. Have a great day.